When you're playing in a miniature, you ever stare at a reference image and wonder, damn, this guy looks like he could use some head. I mean, uh, how am I gonna paint this color design without pestering an artist for a recipe? Because let's face it, most people can match flat colors, but the second things go a bit off the beaten path, then everyone suddenly has anomia. Thankfully, Reaper Miniatures offers a free and handy tool to help decipher colors you want to paint. Upon clicking onto the page, you're greeted with a very minimalistic but straightforward interface. I know it's 2021, but not everything needs to be a glorious UI when you're trying to do something simple. Especially when all you need is a quick answer, and that's exactly what the power palette does. There's no to link a photo, so you'll have to upload an image saved to your computer. After the site prepares the photo for analysis, you're met with this. Now you just mouse over the colors you want to decipher. It even gives you a zoom so you can get those shroud levels of accuracy. Sponsorships and esports skills not included. Upon clicking, Reaper will instantly tell you what color in their inventory is a close match, alongside neighboring colors for shade or highlight. It also has an add to cart button for shopping convenience. Your last four color references are saved so you can check, but you can always just click on the image again if the result disappears. So this is essentially a friendly and faster search flow rather than throwing the photo into MS Paint, snagging a color, doodling, and trying to figure out which one of its distant cousins inherited the fortune. Now obviously this comes with a few notes and caveats. The Power Palette's results are only Reaper Master Series paints, so if you want to use Citadel, Monument, P3, or others, you still need to do a color comparison. The website also doesn't save the photos you uploaded, so you don't have an archive to quickly reference. It's not convenient if you're referencing several images, but it's great for privacy. Uh, unless you want people to see all your sus uploads, then by all means, pretend you're watching, prove you have no shame, and assert your dominance, queen. Finally, the target audience is likely beginners, war gamers, D&D players, and more casual hobbyists. It's a great way for learning painters to see that colors in a build-up are not as straightforward as they may seem. If you're a seasoned artist or avid hobby painter, you probably don't need this to determine your palettes, but it still remains handy on occasion. So let's take a look at a few scenarios on how this tool can help. Number one. So you want to replicate a specific material or look. You Google for possible tutorials or guides, but you don't get exactly what you want. Then you turn to reference pictures, find something you like, and go, that's it. That's the color jeans that'll make my model's ass look like fire. So you save the picture, upload, and use Reaper to gauge what color values you're working with for that faded look. You scroll Instagram and come across a model design you like, but makes you go, wow, I suck. You can use the color picker to determine a plausible recipe for your own attempt. If you do this, you should note that there are several factors like lighting and layering that may skew your final results compared to the original model, but this should still get you in the ballpark. You find a photograph with an atmosphere that screams at you to paint it like one of your French girls. You want to use the colors on your diorama, so you upload it to help design a united color palette. You're going for a max impact OSL look and want to determine what certain colors will look like in the shadows and direct light. You upload your reference photo and see if there's any subtle hue changes your eye isn't trained to spot yet. There's likely more uses, but you get the idea. Seal of... uh... Does a free digital tool really need a seal of approval? Asking for a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Have a f***ing awesome day and I'll see you next time.